Hello and welcome to our Senior Option Choice presentation for 2021. Given the circumstances, the process is a little different this year, but we hope still to have one in place that will allow our S4 and S5 pupils to make informed and positive choices in terms of the subjects they wish to study next year. Now, as in previous years, there are certain subjects that every pupil in S5 and indeed in S6 will continue to study, uh, our core subjects, and these are physical education, uh, and each pupil in either S5 or S6 having two periods a week. We have a period of health and well-being, which will also continue, and for pupils in S5, a period of religious and moral education. Our S6 pupils, whilst not having religious and moral education, also have other leadership opportunities that are part of our core curriculum. In addition to these core subjects, every S5 pupil will choose to study five subjects for study towards national qualifications, and every pupil in S6 will choose to study a minimum of four subjects in their sixth year towards national qualifications. Pupils in S6 do have the opportunity to study five subjects, should they wish, but many do take the opportunity of studying four and freeing a little bit of time up in their timetable to devote to some of the leadership opportunities that were previously mentioned, and also to give them the experience of some independent study time as they work towards advanced hires and prepare for life after school, perhaps in college or university. In making their subject choices for the senior phase, we're fortunate at Dumfries High in being able to offer a wide range of courses to our young people. Uh, and as you can see from this traditional paper copy of the option form, which actually is one of two pages, uh, there's a number of different subjects on offer. And indeed, we, we have over 60 different subjects that our young people in S4 and S5 can choose from. And they are offered in partnership with other schools in Dumfries uh, and Dumfries and Galloway College and SRUC at the Barony. You'll also notice from the form here that the, the subjects are also offered at a range of different levels, from levels four and five, where some of our young people will have already studied national four or national five courses. But also at level six, you'll find higher courses, as well as NPAs and foundation apprenticeships. And at level seven, you'll find advanced hires and some HNC courses on offer. And in making their final choices for options, we also ask our pupils to give us an indication of their preference uh, within the subject choices that they've made. Uh, so, for example, if we happen to have a current S4 pupil who, for example, was making their five choices for study in S5, uh, if their first preference, uh, their, their favourite subject, if you like, that they would like to study next year was, for example, English, we would ask them to indicate that with a number one as a first preference subject. And perhaps this pupil is performing very well in National 5 English and also to indicate clearly to us as to what the level of study would be. If their second preference was for computing, then they would indicate that with a number two. And again, they have to have chosen, for example, higher. They have then chosen as their third preference subject administration, which also happens to be higher. And their fourth preference subject, in this example, they have chosen geography. Another subject which perhaps they are studying uh, and doing well in, uh, currently in S4 at National 5. So they feel confident they would like to carry on with geography. Again, progressing on from level 5 to level 6 by choosing higher. And as an example, with a, an interest that we've seen already in computing science, they have looked at cyber security and have chosen that as their fifth preference subject. And that is at level 5 in an NPA. And also, as indicated in this form by being in blue, that's also a college academy course that's provided by Dumfries and Galloway College. In addition to making their five choices for study in S5, or a pupil making four, or perhaps five choices for study in S6, we also ask pupils to indicate a reserve subject. And the purpose of the reserve subject is Sometimes it's the case that we're not able to satisfy every choice of a pupil. Uh, for example, sometimes we simply don't have uh, sufficient demand for a course to run. 
So we asked pupils to also give an indication of a reserve subject that they would be happy to consider um, taking. And in this example, our pupil has chosen business management at higher level. So traditionally, that's the process we ask uh, our pupils to undertake on a paper copy of the option form. Uh, and it will be different this year and we will submit options online as part of the online options interview. But I think it still helps perhaps to visualise uh, the, the process, which, which hasn't changed, which is to choose five subjects for study if you're moving into S5, a minimum of four subjects for study if you are moving into S6, to be able to indicate the preferences within those choices as to your first preference, second preference and so on, and not to forget to also indicate a reserve subject. In making their choices of subjects for study in S5 or in S6, we obviously would encourage our young people to spend a good deal of care and time researching any, any particular subject or course that they're interested in. And we would encourage them very much to, to visit the, the school website, which is available at dumfrieshighschool.co.uk. And by hovering over the pupil zone tab that you can see here, that will then display the senior options information. And if they were to click this here, in addition to a general introduction to the process, they'll find at the foot of the page, the senior phase options form. And the form itself displays the full range of subjects and courses which are available for study next year. And for each of the, the subjects and courses on display, there are links to further more detailed information for a young person's consideration. So, for example, if we had a pupil who was interested in administration and IT, and was considering the subject at higher level, by clicking on the relevant part of the option form, that will then take them to further, more detailed information on the subject in question. And as previously mentioned, some of the subjects and courses which are on offer are in partnership with other secondary schools in town and with Dumfries and Gallery College and the Barony. And if you were to access the option form, and choose a course, for example, sociology is one where if you were to click on the information for sociology, um, you'll be informed that this is indeed a networking opportunity. One uh, course that is provided not within Dumfries High School, but within one of our partner secondary schools. And if you happen to be interested in any of these subjects, as mentioned here, please do make a point of making contact with myself, Mr. Davidson, and in the next week or two, I would hope to have the relevant information to hand from our partner schools. In terms of provision from the Barony, our course in animal care, the relevant information is already available to view. And similarly, for courses that are provided by Dumfries and Galloway College, which as previously mentioned, are highlighted here in blue, for example, digital media animation. We have information ready to hand uh, for the Dumfries and Galloway College provision, which is known as College Academy. And the brochure begins with a, a general introduction to College Academy courses and some of the detail as to how they operate. But further down, you have further links which will take you to more specific information on each of the courses available to pupils at Dumfries High School provided by Dumfries and Galloway College. So sticking with our interest in digital media animation, it would be a case of hovering here and clicking on the course. And that will then take us to the relevant page on the Dumfries and Galloway College website, where we can find further information on the course itself, any relevant entry requirements, the details, an introduction there as to what the course involves, but also something that's important to note that pupils who wish to study a college academy course also require 
to apply directly to Dumfries and Galloway College. And it's perhaps also worth specifically drawing your attention to the Foundation Apprenticeships. And Foundation Apprenticeships offer a qualification at level six, which is the equivalent of higher, an academic qualification alongside some relevant work experience. And if you require any further information about Foundation Apprenticeships, uh, in addition to that, which is available on the Dumfries and Galloway College website, it may be worth visiting apprenticeships.scot, where you'll find a whole host of information about Foundation Apprenticeships and the value of them. Depending on the Foundation Apprenticeship in question, they may be studied for one year or over two years. And should the apprenticeship be studied in one year, it would count as two of a young person's option choices. And if studied over two years, it would count as one of a pupil's option choices. So armed with the relevant information on uh, courses which are available to them, our young people will be in a position to finalise their option choices for the year ahead. And in doing so, there's a number of important questions for them to consider. Questions which will not be unfamiliar to them, having been involved in the options process previously. Indeed, our S4 and S5 pupils will have made options on two or three occasions in, in the past. On the questions themselves, there's perhaps more prominence as they move into the senior phase on question three and question four. And in terms of the opinion of their teachers as to how well they're performing, that's an important consideration for pupils who are considering progressing to a level six or a level seven course where there will be entry requirements in terms of achievement of a level below that. So for example, if we had an S4 people currently studying history and they were hoping to study higher history next year, there would be an expectation that they were coping reasonably well, if not very well with the National 5 course, and that their teacher was confident that should they choose to study higher, that it was at a level which they could achieve uh, in the year ahead. So I would encourage our young people to speak to their teachers when they return to school uh, after the Easter break, where they are not quite sure perhaps whether they are capable of studying a subject at a particular level. And teachers have also shared information with the teachers who will be involved in the online interviews. So if there is any doubt about uh, capability of a pupil to study a subject at, at a certain level, then that information will be shared with pupils and parents as part of the online options process. The final question of where certain qualifications and courses may take a young person obviously becomes more prominent as the end of the school career draws nearer as a young person moves into either S5 or S6. In this regard, there are a number of useful resources that I would encourage uh, our pupils to, to make use of in considering subject choices in the context of a future career or place of study. The first of which is the My World of Work website, which you can see uh, a screenshot of on the screen here. Now, My World of Work is the website of Skills Development Scotland, who are perhaps still better known as the Career Service. And they have a page which is specific to school pupils making option choices uh, called the Subject Choices Tool. And pupils have the opportunity there to enter certain subjects and explore possible careers that could be available to them based on the subject choices that they're considering making for, for the year ahead. So as, as I say, it's a, a, a quite, really quite a useful website for a young person who perhaps in particular has employment in mind as their pathway when school is finally at an end. Another invaluable website is the UCAS website, which is the platform used by the universities in the United Kingdom and mainly used by our S6 pupils, in fact, for when they are applying to university. But what it does also offer is a really useful one-stop website where a young person, perhaps in S4 or in S5, considering hires and advanced hires, can see whether the courses they're considering choosing, whether they align with any 
course that they are already considering for future study at university. Now, the UCAS website is a little trickier to navigate, so I'll just demonstrate here the way in which a pupil could use the site to check the entry requirements for a given university course. So once uh, you're on UCAS.com, it's a case of going to undergraduate and then over to the left hand side to explore subjects. And then on the right hand side here, you'll see there's a search icon. And once we've clicked that, we're then taken to a page where we can search university courses uh, by subject. So for example, if we had a young person who was interested in studying medicine and I was to search for medicine, I'll just click that there. That then takes us to a list of all the universities in the UK, in fact, that are offering medicine. And we can refine that a little more with the filter. And it handily offers the option to specify where we want to study. And for most of our pupils, that will be Scotland, which we can click there. And as long as we save and then click Done, that will then refine the search to those Scottish universities that offer courses involving medicine. And to take one example, the first one here is alphabetically, it's Aberdeen. So if we were to click Medicine for Aberdeen, what we get for each subject is the information about that course at the given institution. And in addition to other information that we come under the course summary, you can see here we have the option to specify the entry requirements. And we can see that we get an idea of the likely entry requirements being five hires, uh, four A's and a B, but also where there are specific subjects that are required in addition to the the overall grades that are expected, we get that information on the UCAS website. So our young person here, perhaps in S4, considering subjects for S5, uh, a young person who has a possible career as a doctor in mind and university study of medicine, would learn from the UCAS website that amongst their subject choices for hires, they would need to be looking at two sciences, and they would need to be choosing chemistry as one of those sciences. Because we're told here that it's five hires obtained at a single sitting. So more information that would be relevant, that it would need to be five hires in their five choices for S5. That chemistry would need to be one of those hires, plus two others from biology or human biology, mathematics and physics. In addition to those online resources, our School Careers Advisor, Zoe Winpenny, has also asked me to, to, to let you all know that although, given the circumstances, in-person interviews um, aren't possible with, with, uh, with our Careers Advisor, that they are still very much available uh, for, for advice and for consultation. And should you require an online interview um, or have any questions that perhaps you think our Careers Advisor would be in a good position to answer, you can contact Zoe Winpenny at the email address that you can see on the screen there at the moment. Um, I say Zoe is a really useful resource for our young people to access and making subject choices in. And if you have any, any doubt about a subject choice in terms of a specific career or a possible college course in the future or university study, I would really encourage you to make contact with Zoe. Now, under, under normal circumstances, an options meeting or interview uh, held between the child, their parent carer, and their head of house or deputy head is, the, is, is a really valuable part of the options process, um, allowing for some detailed discussion about the proposed option choices that the young person has, and, and ultimately to make sure that whatever choices they choose to make, they are ones that will allow them to move forward in their school career in a really, in a really positive uh, fashion. So uh, they've always been really important in the past. They've occurred in person. Uh, with invites into school in the past. And whilst that's not something that we can facilitate this year for obvious reasons, the options interview or options meeting is something that we are planning to continue 
but something that we will we will undertake online. So parents and carers will receive a text message from the school that offers a, an options interview time slot of 15 minutes. And all we ask is for the parent or carer to simply respond yes to that text message if the time is suitable or to let us know if they require an alternative um, time to be arranged. Now, the platform we're using to undertake these online interviews is Microsoft Teams. Accessing Microsoft Teams is through Glow, and you can see the Glow homepage or launchpad uh, on this, this, this slide here. Uh, and for the young person to just double check the time um, of their options interview, they log into Glow as they would normally do. They will access Microsoft Teams through this tile here on their launch pad, which will then take them to their Microsoft Teams page, which will look something like this one here. And on the left hand side, we've got a number of icons and just above the calls icon with the telephone, we'll see here there's the icon, which is the calendar. And following the Easter holidays, if a senior pupil was to check their calendar in Microsoft Teams, uh, following the communication between their parent or carer and the school and the finalising of a time for their online options interview, they should be able to see that their interview has been scheduled in Teams uh, for the time they were expecting. So as you can see here, for example, in this, this calendar, we have an online options interview scheduled for 5 p.m. on Wednesday, the 14th of April. And as you'll be aware, we plan to undertake the interviews for S4 and S5 over a two-week period, beginning Monday uh, the 12th of April and continuing in the following week of Monday the 19th of April, with all our online options interviews scheduled for after the school day uh, from 4pm onwards so that we can maximise the amount of time that our young people are, are in class and, and receiving face-to-face -face learning. But what we do ask is that our, our young people log into their Microsoft Teams in plenty of time so they and their parents and carers can be part of that interview with the house head or deputy head teacher. And we'd ask that uh, in preparation for that meeting, so some thinking has been done regarding the five option choices that our young person would like to make. And ideally, they would come to the meeting with those five five choices and their reserve choice, for that matter, in mind. Although, obviously, one of the reasons for the options meeting is to offer assistance where there's some difficulty in finalising those choices. At that meeting, the deputy head of house or head of house will share the, the way in which we are submitting options, because that's also had to change this year. The normal process of a paper option form that is highlighted, completed, filled in and handed into school, again, is something that is, isn't possible at the moment. So we have an online option form to be completed this year, and the form will be shared with you at the online options interview. And that brings us to the end of the options process for senior pupils in 2021. And indeed, the end of this video presentation. Thank you for taking the time to listen and to watch. And we look forward to meeting you at the forthcoming online options interviews, which as a final reminder, will take place the week beginning the 12th and the 19th of April.